This video was created by Vinylic Puma of Vinylic Puma Gaming. So Fallout 4 has a lot of cool, unique, and interesting pieces of armor and apparel. Overall, there is a lot of cosplay potential here, as you can look like everything from a private eye, to a psychopathic bandit, to like a former military soldier, and everything in between. Today, I want to go over what I think are the best looking and most aesthetically pleasing armor, apparel, and outfits in Fallout 4. Uh, so without further ado, these will be the top 7 coolest and best looking armor, apparel, and outfits in Fallout 4. Number 7, the Hunter's Pelt Outfit. So this armor reminds me of something that the Dark Brotherhood would wear in the Skyrim or the Elder Scrolls universe, um, especially with the helmet or like hood piece because it's a combination of red and black. Uh, or maybe it could be something that Ezio or some of the assassins from the Assassin's Creed series uh, that they might wear. Um, unfortunately, it's not really a practical piece of armor, mostly due to the high weight of the peril and the combination of the defense it provides. Uh, and according to the Fallout Wiki, the Hunter's Pelt outfit weighs 15 pounds. Uh, most undergarments, like your vault suits, uh, the marine uh, wetsuit, uh, and military fatigues weigh about one to five pounds uh, for the sake of comparison. Even still though, the pauldrons and the overall aesthetic here of the Hunter's Pelt outfit, in my opinion, looks pretty cool and I think you should try to pick one up if you get a chance. Number six, Diamond City Guard Armor. For some reason, I've always liked the look of the Diamond City Guard armor, despite it looking somewhat crude. Now, while they basically look like a bunch of umpires, um, especially on the chest pieces, I like the combination of like the blue and some of the black colors with dirt that appears all over this particular armor set. I have just always thought that it looked pretty neat. Uh, now, unfortunately, as far as I know, the only way to get this armor is to kill a guard or spawn one for yourself via console commands, uh, which I must admit is definitely not ideal for most people that are playing through the game. And it's also worth mentioning that functionally, it's not really worth getting this armor as there are other armors that provide better damage and energy resistance. In fact, most armors that are sturdy and heavy armor piece variants, for instance, are completely superior to the Diamond City Guard armor. Number five, the Rescue Diver Suit. Now, I like this armor because it reminds me a lot of the wacky diving suits from the mid to late 1800s and then possibly early 1900s. Uh, now, the Rescue Diver Suit also reminds me of the Big Daddies from Bioshock as well. And I was actually fairly hyped to find out we would get some kind of Bioshock slash diver suit inspired armor in Fallout 4. Uh, not to mention, this is the perfect armor for exploring the underwater areas of both the Commonwealth as well as Far Harbor, as you will never run out of air while you're submerged, and that's a pretty cool perk in my opinion. Uh, definitely a pretty cool armor set that was newly added with the Far Harbor DLC. Number four, synth armor. I've always liked the look of synth armor as it makes the player look sort of like a stormtrooper while you're wearing it, um, especially if you have like white clothes underneath the synth armor itself. Now it is worth mentioning that there are both clean and dirty versions and I must say that I actually like both. Um, the clean version is just like pristine and looks good and then the dirty version makes some of the armor pieces look almost like gray or blackish which is pretty cool. However, unlike most of the vanilla armor types though, um, the color of the synth armor doesn't change as you upgrade it. Now, this is possibly because there are both clean and dirty versions of this particular armor, and that's gonna be like the aesthetic difference uh, that you're gonna get, and that's pretty much it, if that makes sense. Now, the only thing that I don't like about the synth armor is that it doesn't protect certain body parts, especially around the groin and the thigh. Um, you also don't get a lot of protection around the shoulders as well. Um, Non-heavy variants also don't provide pro chest protection at all, which is kind of annoying because, I mean, you'd think as a synth you would want to protect their chest, but I don't know, it is what it is. Number three, 
Maxon's Battle Coat. While this isn't necessarily my favorite looking armor, apparel, or outfit in Fallout 4, I do have to admit that it does look pretty cool. And it seems like a lot of people on the internet seem to really like the look of Maxon's Battle Coat overall. And you know, the Battle Coat definitely does make Elder Maxon look like some kind of airship captain or admiral, and it does look pretty cool. And it's also worth mentioning that, I mean, no good piece of armor, apparel, or outfit uh, would be complete without open finger gloves on the armor. Now, it does suck that you have to pretty much kill Maxon in order to even get this thing, but hey, maybe it'll look cooler on your very own playable character. Or if you don't like the Brotherhood of Steel, I mean, I guess you're gonna have to kill Maxon anyway, so why not take this cool battle coat? Now, overall, this is definitely a stylish coat and is definitely recommended for killing enemies in, you guessed it, style. Number two, combat armor. So, combat armor is standard military armor that was possibly worn by the U.S. military before the Great War in the Fallout universe. Uh, now, combat armor is currently worn mostly by gunner-type enemies, as well as occasionally by some raiders and trappers. Uh, now, I think that I prefer the sturdy or heavy versions in terms of aesthetics because the armor actually appears to provide full body protection, while regular combat armor leaves a lot of your body exposed, and I've always thought that that looked kind of bad. Another thing that I like about combat armor is that the color changes as you acquire different upgrades. Uh, so the green color is the stock version. Of course, the white version is fully maxed out and fully upgraded. And then of course, there's also a shadowed, which is this kind of like grayish or black piece version uh, that looks the best in my personal opinion and is ideal for stealth. Functionally, combat armor is really one of the best armor types in the game. Um, synth armor is probably a little bit better in terms of overall resistances, but in terms of like weight, um, combat armor is really ideal. And finally, number one, the marine armor. Now, despite being ridiculously heavy without the ultralight mod uh, and how I kind of made a video like railing against the marine armor. I actually do like both the looks of the assault and zealot and inquisitor marine armors uh, in Fallout 4 that were added with the Far Harbor DLC. Uh, now, the assault marine armor in particular reminds me of something that like a SWAT team might wear, especially that helmet piece. After all, it is kind of like this combination of like blue and uh, I guess like the visor is green, or maybe it makes you look like Master Chief in some way. I don't know, I thought it looked pretty cool. Now, it does vaguely and somewhat remotely remind me of some of like the duster uniforms combined with those helmets that some of the NCR soldiers wore in Fallout New Vegas, and that is pretty cool in my opinion. There's also the Zealot slash Inquisitor version of the Marine armor that has this really cool armor pattern in my opinion. Um, and it also removes some of the unnecessary armor pieces that the Assault Marine armor has that clip with the player character's body while performing certain movements. The only problem with the Zealot slash Inquisitor armor is that it doesn't really necessarily have its own true dedicated um, helmet piece. Now, I guess there is the Assault Marine helmet, or there's like the Inquisitor's cowl that you could wear with the Inquisitor armor, but honestly, I would have rather them done a retexture of the Assault Marine helmet and then give that to the Children of Adam instead. In summary, the Marine armor looks cool, but without the Ultra Light mod, it's kind of bad. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to pretty much wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, and as always, Take care and I'll see y'all next time.